At City Hall, there is often more paperwork than clarity, and sometimes the bureaucratic red tape ties a knot that's hard to unravel. Thank you for calling St. Louis City Recorder's Office. I can help you. This is the Recorder of Deeds Office, custodian of our crucial records. Our office handles all of the important documents for the city, so a birth certificate's death certificates, marriage licenses. Are you, both of you city residents? Anya Hall works in the Assistance Center. Her job is to help people navigate the maze of official records. I'm here to just make sure everything goes smoothly, um, that they have somebody to turn to. Typically, people are here for no more than 30 minutes. But one person needed Anya's help on a frustrating journey that lasted five years. Yeah, you can ride a skateboard when you get big enough. Benita Brown is nothing if not persistent. My determination was for my grandson to have a name. He walked around for five years, basically as a ghost. You see, back on Christmas Eve in 2017, Benita's daughter, Renisha Calvin, was in a tragic car accident. When we got down there, they were still cutting the car up which led to my daughter fighting for her life. Sadly, she didn't make it. Her son was born by emergency C-section, and in the chaos, his name was never officially recorded on his birth certificate. And in essence, it was in limbo. Uh, it was never completed, and the state never received the information from a hospital that, that they normally would. Without a birth certificate, Benita, who was now his caregiver, couldn't put him in daycare. She couldn't put him in school, and her calls and letters to Jefferson City all led to a dead end. So you weren't getting anywhere. Anywhere. It was like doors was closing, 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 closing. So once a month or so, she'd come to City Hall where Anya and the Recorder of Deeds Office tried to help her jump over the bureaucratic hurdles. You don't give up on somebody so determined. So I saw her determination, and I wanted to give her mine. Come on right here. And then, a few weeks ago, Benita walked into the recorder's office holding the hand of her grandson when Anya finally delivered some good news, presenting a birth certificate proudly bearing the name Rashawn. Five years? Yeah, like, we wanted to dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were pretty happy. We were excited, yes. Whew. It, it's hard to describe, but... It was a well-lifted weight up off of you, like you holding something now, and when you receive a piece of paper that you've been waiting five years for, can't do nothing but shout. <laughs> Look at you. Now that he's got a new name, Rashawn can enjoy new opportunities, like going to school. And he always likes to make people laugh. So, uh, you just like to be silly sometimes? <laughs> yes. So what you do today in school? As for Benita, her heart overflows with appreciation. For Anya, and all her friends in the recorder's office. I love them. I'm very grateful to have so many people in my corner. Skip to my loop. How you skip? Skip, skip to my loop. A devoted grandmother showing us all that with assistance and persistence, Woo, you did it like a skateboarder. We can learn the true significance of the question, what's in a name?